hello students so we are going to uh, see a new topic here when cable with ends they are at different levels okay they are not at the same level so we'll solve a numerical uh, on this but before that let's just uh, see a uh, theory uh, basically formulation what are the important formulas to solve the numericals okay so we'll quickly go through that and then we'll solve a numerical <music> So see, uh, you can see here a cable shown in the figure which is supported at A and B. Okay, so it is supported at A and B here. So uh, A is now here. Let me just write support names. Support A and support B. Okay, so A is H one meters above the lowest point C. Okay. A is H1 meter about the lowest point. So if you see the cable lowest point here, okay, C point. So from this point that is H1 meter, and same for H2. It is uh, from C uh, to the support B. Okay, that is our H2 meter. Now this is subjected to a uniformly distributed load W per unit horizontal length over the entire span. Nothing but URL is given all over the span over here. You can see. Now let the horizontal distance between AC be L1 and between CB be L2. So AC, okay, uh, horizontal distance between AC is L1 and for CB, okay, this is B. So this distance is L2 and the total span is L. So these are the basic uh, things and the horizontal reaction is H over here. Now uh, we know a cable can take only axial force. A very important point: cable can take only axial force. That is, it cannot take bending moment and shear force. A very very important point. It it can be a gate question also. So a, a cable can take axial force and it cannot take bending moment and shear force. Hence, at lowest point C, the axial force. Okay, the axial force is equal to H. And there is no force in vertical direction. So at this point, only axial force is there and no vertical uh, force in this point. Okay. Now uh, this is the typical diagram. A cable ends with at different levels. So coming to the formulation, when we have to calculate what is the, uh, we we need to calculate what is uh, this span length L1, what is L2, then what is the you know how to calculate support reaction, what is the final length. So for that formulation is uh, for span L1, L1 is equal to L into root of H1. So there are uh, simple formulas divided by H1 plus H2. So this is, I want you to note it down. Okay, L1 is this. Then L2 is equal to root of H2 base is same H1 plus H2. So this is our equation for L2. Okay. Now uh, when we calculate to find the H, we calculate moment about C. And then when we calculate it, finally we get the value for VA and VB. Okay, we get the reactions for VA and VB. By considering moment, it's it's very easy, right? To calculate reactions, we generally consider summation of forces in y direction and then moment about any C point. So uh, that is the usual procedure what we are using since our uh, strength of material subjects. So when we get those VA and VB and when we substitute in H, so we arrive at the formulation that is H is equal to H is equal to W L square divided by 2 into square root of H1 plus square root of H2 the whole square. So this formulation we will use and finally we will arrive at what is the length of the cable okay so to calculate length of the cable length of cable acb 
is equal to half into sum of length of a c b dash and a dash c b so that is a dash is here this is our a this is our point b so we will arrive at the formulation l is equal to 1 plus 2 third of h1 square by l1 plus 2 third of h2 square by l2 okay so i want you to remember this ignore the you may ignore the theory part here or we have to solve the numerical and uh, for that you need a uh, what is the length of the cable so this is the formula we need to uh, refer okay so let's solve a numerical based on this so a cable of span 100 meter has its end at height 8 meter and 15 meter okay so its end at it h1 is nothing but 8 meter so question says a cable of span 100 meter has its ends at height 8 meter and 15 meter so this data is given above the lowest point of the cable it carries a udl of 10 kilonewton per meter this is 10 kilonewton per meter per unit horizontal run of the span so determine the horizontal and vertical reactions at supports and what is the length of the cable okay what is the length of the cable so this is what we need to know and here uh, to calculate that let's see here at this point c when we separate it okay when we just see here at point c and this particular length is 15 meter so when we see from the point b from this point this is 15 meter okay this height is 15 meter now we have a data h1 is equal to 8 meter h2 is equal to 15 meter and length is equal to 100 meter okay the span is equal to 100 meter now moment about a and b uh, when we'll calculate it uh, calculate from the mid section then we'll get equations as okay moment about a and b so if we consider moment about a and uh, if you consider moment about b so we will get two set of equation because here supports are not at same level supports are at different level so if you just divide this part into okay here just consider this as a separate section and consider this as a separate section so when we consider moment about when we consider moment about support a and when we consider moment about support b we will arrive at some equations okay h into 8 minus 10 into l1 into l1 by 2 is equal to 0 this is one equation we'll get and the other equation as h into 15 minus 15 minus 10 into l2 into l2 by 2 is equal to 0 so with these two equations we can write 8 into h equals to 5 into 
L1 square and 15 into H is equal to 5 into L2 square. So once we write this equation, when we consider moment about, okay, moment about A and B, when we do that, so here we can write, you know, now uh, if you see in detail how this and this equation we have written, okay, so consider when you separate this part, so here, suppose you are considering only left part, okay, so when this is H, so definitely there will be a resistance force H here, okay. There will be a resistance po a portion H here. So when we are seeing only first part, let us consider moment about A, okay. So when we consider moment about only part A, then we can write, okay, this is A. So we can write H into 8, okay. This is the H and this height is 8, okay. Load into perpendicular distance. And then there is only for this particular length okay only for this particular length we should consider udl okay and that udl is nothing but 10 okay 10 is acting over here it is acting in the length of l1 so we will write 10 into l1 into it will act in the middle of this span so l by 2 okay so this is this equation is related to this okay moment at a we will get this then coming to moment at b now when we have to consider point moment at b point so let us consider only right side portion and in this portion when you separate these two parts so when this uh, force is going this direction so we will have the opposite force here okay we will have the opposite force here so this will be our new h for this particular equation okay so this h we will write here so h into we will see the uh, what is the uh, distance there okay so uh, when we consider moment about part b so we'll see that h distance here h into 15 minus 10 uh, into l2 into l by 2 so we will arrive at this equation so uh, when we uh, reach at this equation we will get 8h equals to 5l1 square and 15h uh, equals to 5l2 square so when we summarize this it will be l1 square by l2 square is equal to 8 by 15 okay when we rewrite these equations we will arrive at this point and with this we will get l1 by l2 l1 by l2 is equal to root of 8 by root of 15 which is equal to 0 0.730 okay then we can write l1 by l1 plus l2 so if we can write here 0 0.730 by 1.730. So L1 we will get as 0.73 divided by 1.73 L1 plus L2. So L1 plus L2 is nothing but 100. We have a 100 value here. So, total span is 100 meter. So, our L1 value will be 42.214 meter. Okay. Then, once we get L1, L2 will be easy. We have to simply substitute it in our equation. So, we can write 100 minus 42.214, which is equal to, we will get 57.786 meter. Okay. Now, coming to the calculation of reactions. So, VA is nothing but, VA is nothing but, it is only W into L1, okay. So, W into L1, 10 into 42.214. So, we will get 422.14 kilonewton. And, at H equals to 10 into L1 square by 2. So, with this, we will get answer for H as 10 into 42.214 square divided by 8 into 2. So, our horizontal reaction will be 1113.76 kilonewton. Okay. And VB formula is nothing but it is simply W into L by 2. So, these are the formulations. Okay. Uh, you have to remember. 
so w into l by 2 that is 10 into 57.786 is equal to 577.86 kilonewton so this way we are uh, able to get what is va and vb so length of the cable is uh, the formula is 1 plus 2 third h1 square by l1 plus 2 third h2 square by l1 and when we substituted all this this is uh, not one sorry it is l total span it is so 100 plus 2 third of h1 we have the data h square then we have this 42.214 plus 2 by 3 15 square by 57.786 so this gives us final answer span is a uh, total length of the cable is 103.607 meter okay so this completes our question and less uh, length of the cable is 103.607 meter so hope you understood uh, this question uh, thank you